Welcome back, mates. Today we're talking about a type of animal called coral. Wait, rewind. We are supposed to be talking about animals, aren't we? Coral don't really look like animals, like this fossilized coral here. In fact, it kind of looks like a rock or a plant. Well, it's true. Coral, also called coral polyps, can look like tiny, colorful plants. But they're actually animals. Teeny, tiny animals that end up turning into rock-like skeletons. Now, coral reefs are made up of these rock skeletons. It works like this. Tiny coral polyps attach to a hard surface. When they die, many different polyps will actually leave behind a skeleton, which turns into a hard rock called limestone. Now, here's where it gets crazy. New coral polyps come along and attach themselves to the rock skeleton of the old one. And it just grows and grows. You get layer after layer. And that's how we get these massive coral reefs, like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest reef in the entire world. It can actually be seen from space. Now, this doesn't take long periods of time. In fact, the Great Barrier Reef has formed just recently, since the time of Noah's flood. Now, coral colonies come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. Which part of your body is kind of like a computer? It's the brain, isn't it? Did you know God made a type of coral called brain coral? That looks like a pretty big brain. Have you ever eaten cabbage? Well, there's actually a coral called cabbage coral. Can you guess why? And there's actually some really cool coral called mushroom coral. Now here's a sea fan coral, one of my absolute favorites. You can even see all the little veins of the old rock skeletons. It's really cool. Now what's your guys' favorite flower? My favorite is personally the tulip. Now why am I talking about flowers? Well, because there's actually a type of coral called the flower pot coral. Now check out this fabulous pillar coral. Looks like a pillar from ancient Greece or Rome. Here's an elk horn coral. Elk are one of my favorite animals. Our God is an amazing creator. He's made so many different types of corals and what we've looked at is only just a few of them. Now all these corals look dramatically different, but they all have several things in common. They all need to eat and defend themselves. Remember Adam and Eve and how they disobeyed God? When they sinned, it affected all of creation, including coral. Now God gave coral a stinger that helps it to catch its prey and defend itself from predators. When a small sea creature passes by the coral, a stinging cell is triggered and a harpoon shoots out of the coral and punches a hole through the animal. And it then fills that animal with poison so that it can't get away. The sea creature, whatever it may be, is then ready to be eaten by the coral polyp. Weird, but pretty amazing. God also gave coral the ability to defend themselves from things that would try to harm it. For example, if the water is getting too warm, God designed that coral to cover itself with a layer of mucus that will then protect it from the sun's harmful rays. Now when sand covers over that coral, it can't get its food. So God designed it with an amazing way to be able to clear off that sand with little tiny tentacles, just like windshield wipers. Isn't God an amazing designer? Of course, God makes everything for a reason, to bring him glory. And his creation helps us too. That's true for coral reefs as well. The reefs provide homes for many ocean creatures and they keep our shores from washing away. And scientists are even discovering that they can actually make some medicines from different parts of coral reefs. These medicines might even be able to help treat diseases like cancer. I'm glad God made coral. How about you? God made each animal living in the vast coral reefs an amazing wonder, like our animal pal today, Shimmer. But do you remember what his greatest creation of all is? That's right, it's people like you and me. The Bible tells us in Psalm chapter 139 that God made people with great care and for a purpose. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. That means that you are an amazing creation of God, each and every one of you. Think about all the amazing things that animals can't do. Can animals write poetry? Now I'm a bit of a poet myself. Roses are red, violets are blue, Oh, you guys have heard that one? We can invent amazing contraptions, take care of this beautiful earth that God has given us, and we can even enjoy beautiful music. And we can have a personal relationship with the creator of the universe, Jesus Christ. Now get out there and be your amazing self 
for God's glory.